<laughs> I'm not entirely sure if my microphone is picking up. I know you guys, or I'm hoping that it is. Uh, anyways, um, we are drafting M15 right now here on LegitMTG.com. And we're going to have fun with it a little bit today. We are doing the Mind Sculpt deck because it is one of my most favorite decks in existence. Uh, we're going to take the Ingenuity so we can actually draw some Mind Sculpts. Pretty much the goal of this draft is to take every Mind Sculpt that I can and try not to die before I can mill people out. So we're looking for defensive creatures, removal, uh, ulcerate seems pretty good here. We're going to need more than one mind sculpt though if we're actually going to, going to get this right. Let's see here, we've got a 6 drop that can't attack unless there's a mountain on the battlefield. That witch is familiar, 7, seven comes in a covenant of blood, we're going to go with the familiar here. Lurker is probably the best creature for us since we appear to be in black blue. Shade may not be too bad, but I'm going to go with the uncommon. Leviathan could be neat. Where to go with the with the rare? Nothing super exciting for us here. I don't think that guy should be hanging out this late, so we'll go ahead and take him. Maybe we'll have to switch. I just love casting Mind Sculpt in limited formats. You want at least three, I believe, before you go all in on the mind spot plan. And, uh, well, I first picked it, so... 
we'll see how smart of a decision that turns out to be. taking forever. Oh, there's another mine sculpt. Alright. So we're up to two now. Uh, we can take the bear or the lava axe. That's not terrible, I guess. I don't think I'd end up playing him. I don't like losing the Lava Axe, though. So we'll take the Lava Axe. If Necrobite drew a card, I'm pretty sure I would take it. Stutter or the Stormtime Leviathan pick. So I, I think I should be happy that I got both cards that I wanted out of that pack. After pack one, we've got two Mind Sculpts and a bunch of other cards. for this barrier to come back around, but gotta take the mind sculpt. Frost Links is really good in this deck. We just want to slow them down. Frost links definitely helps on um, slow slow them down a bit. go greedy and take the land of war waste get a couple of tickets back in this oppressive rays would be a pretty good pick I like hedging and getting some of my tickets back though strap just had more stay in the mines in it than it needs to Tyrus machine. I like tapping guys down. Love host doesn't seem awful though. I'll go with the house. super exciting here. Should take the summer, so why not? We'll take our Paragon here. And 
crust seems like a pretty good one. Mm. I think we've got one more pack for possibly a mind sculpt to show up in. Believe me, I don't miss mine sculpts that often. That's probably why I don't draft him 15 or course that's that much because I'm so like mm -hmm. I'm a moth and this card's my flame. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll take the Kabumas. like we may be blue-red. Again, we'll take the lava. Overwhelm doesn't seem like a card that I want to play against, so we'll take it. Take the Chrono Stutter again. <clears throat> I hope for six mana that's at least an instant. Life gain. Promptly put it in our sideboard. And here we'll take the Crusher. Its ability, which won't get played, and the Mountain, which will also not get played. At least not, not that one. Sculpts to first pick. The fish is neat. Bounce is neat. I think we're going to go with either the bounce or the flesh to dust. Endless obedience would be awesome. Take their bomb off of mine sculpts. You know what? We'll take that. And we'll take the flush to the spec. Divination will get us into mine sculpts, hopefully. I think we're gonna be black red or black blue. So we'll take the red out. I'd like to see another mine sculpt.
guess with no mines helped, another piece of removal won't be the worst. snare here. the shade this time over the void snare. I do need some creatures it appears. Vampire is not the worst, not the best, but I believe the dream of more than three mine sculpts is about over. at all actually. Good sideboard card for the gates. Take out the mine scholars for a 24. Or we can play the mine sculpts. Put the chrono stutters. Hydra surges. I believe we got ourselves a deck, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. This is going to be stupid fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 out of my salt. Oops. is at 23. Oh, I like the looks of this. Mm -hmm. I like the looks 
looks of this a lot. Add some basic lines. I like that suggestion. 10-7. Nothing I'm too broken up about not playing. We've got plenty of bounce with the void snare and well not plenty of bounce, but we've got bounce with the void snare, removal with encrust and flesh to dust. We got the neat little interaction with Endless Obedience and Mind Sculpt. So I'd say uh, we're pretty happy here. Uh, this deck was, uh, or looks more fun than it needs to be to play. And um, I want to thank you all for watching the draft. Hope that uh, my desire to draft Mind Sculpt did not turn you off from it. We got three, so. The next video will be gameplay with the deck. I hope you all stick around for it, and thanks for watching here on LegitMTG.com.